There was a War Thunder developer interview a couple of days ago that talked about the future of War Thunder and such, and something came up about the line or along the lines of removing vehicles. Now, this is a chance. This isn't set in stone, but there is a possibility that some vehicles that were added back in the day when uh, War Thunder wasn't thinking about going into Korea, Vietnam, well, Korea or just the modern era, that wasn't a thing. So they had to fill the trees with somewhat fictional, somewhat fantasy vehicles to balance the meta. And one of those vehicles that was pure fantasy was a Tiger 105 centimeter or 105 millimeter Tiger II. One of my favorite Tigers in the game, just with the pure ability to look at something. Well, not everything you look at, you can penetrate. But if you can, they're pretty much dead in one shot. But this tank never existed. Now, if sure, if the war would have gone on, Germany had the ability, or at least with the technology and the engineers, to make this tank somewhat or it could be built. So War Thunder is thinking about taking out some of these vehicles. Now, I don't really know about the other ones too much. All I know is that the Tiger 105 millimeter was hit on pretty hard. So what does that mean for you guys? In the future, at least if the translation is holding up correctly, they will remove it, remove it from the tech tree. But if you've already researched it, you're going to be able to keep it. And this approach, I think, is the better one instead of just removing it completely out of the game. Because right now, it doesn't really affect the meta too much. It's not an overpowered vehicle. And in my opinion, it's pretty balanced where it is. So the whole point of this video today is, one, enjoy the Tiger 105mm. And also to let you guys know, if you don't have this thing unlocked right now, there's a chance that you won't be able to unlock it in the future. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. If you think it's a good idea or a bad idea, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get tanking. This is gonna be risky here. We're gonna to try to cross uh, for the alpha point from the F or F3. Turn the tank! <laughs> it is, we might have to uh, cancel the uh, the push and just snipe for a little bit, but while, we're, while we head there, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was the the best or the highest tier or BR, whatever we used back then, that a German tanker could research. And this was the direct competition between the IS-4M. I think, I think, I think. It's kind of balanced. You know, the IS-4 is 122 millimeter, can't go through the upper plate and uh, uh, mantlet shots are hard at medium-ish range. But then the Tiger has to go through that one wee little weak spot um, on the upper glacis of the IS-4M. This is that that was it though, and that's why this thing was at it, so it could compete with the IS-4M. I think, I think. Don't hold me to it. And if I am wrong, let me know comments below. All right, enemy tank spotted. Firing on the move. We're gonna get a shot in here right now. Oh, the night iron. Sure, I'll have fun with you. Dink! That looked like the only guy over in this position or this area. Another. Oh, that, that guy's right out in the open. Oh, what's this range? I'll just shoot right about here. Oh, yes! That was kind of lucky that um, he stayed there for as long as he did. Okay, what we're going to do here is um, we're going to drop smoke and focus front. I'm looking there. I don't see jack crap, dude. I can't stay here too much longer, dude. We're, 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 we're dropping smoke and GTFOing. And I love the smoke system that the Tiger has, or just, or just a lot of the German tanks have. You're able to really create your own smoke screen for your environment. But yeah, that... Oh, I just saw him. I just saw him. Okay, we're gonna stay right here for a little bit. You should be poking out right here. I saw a tankish thing. Attention to the map. This guy is getting so lucky with the terrain. We're gonna go hunt him. 
so lucky with the terrain. Jesus. Watch him be looking over here right now. Look at him. Oh, yes, I'll take it. Was that a hundred? Was that a 183 millimeter? I think our repair will be done before his reload. Oh, gosh. We're so toast. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Leopard! Anybody, Leopard? Leopard! Yes! That's unfortunate. Again, we're at 7.7. .7. Not the biggest problem on a map like this. We're just going to push up to this hill and uh, camp it down. But yeah, man, that 7.7 that .7 Leo gets... Um, really, someone actually went in there. That's suicidal. All right, show yourself. Show yourself, peoples. Okay. Right side's looking okay. Leopard's getting some shots in. Oh, I feel like this is too good to be true, guys. This is too good to be true. Okay, I've checked my backside. I've done my due diligence. I got one, I think. Oh, that's a long shot and a hard shot. 600 meters. Oh. No flank for you. Another one in sight. Halfway done reloading. This this spot is unbelievably beautiful right now. Load, 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 load. Ooh, tempting. Gotta go for that guy first. Now, if we can just make sure no one gets a foothold over here, we're gonna be good all, all game. Now, where is that Centurion? We probably don't need to focus him anymore because he's, he's just gonna get annihilated down there. Yeah, he's already gone. Oh, we got a cheeky feller. It's an AMX uh, 30. I might leave that guy over there, the AMX, for a little bit. Don't tell me he just pops. Ah, oh, damn it. He just popped smoke. Okay, you know what? I wanted to leave you for a second, but no. Oh, what? There's an uber flanker. We're going in, boys. Best escape ever. Roll over. Roll over. Yes! <laughs> Yo, chill out, man. I'm just trying to play the game. There's no way we can be alive here. I gotta be dead after that. Come on. Oh, Leopard just saved me on the T-54. Ammunition lost. Let's keep giving them feedback. I think I'm getting shot from right about here. Oh my gosh, guys. Just shoot the lower glacis oh my god i feel so bad for these french tanks all right come on kill me kill me kill me dude i think i can see his barrel attention to the map i gotta fire really really after all that i needed two more seconds to get the shot off i don't think i got the memo of the meta. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind. Those are all Leos. Yep. Okay. Now I know what's going on. 7.7 .7 again. I, 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 I like this tank. It just gets used and abused at 7.7. .7. I mean, you can easily kill stuff at 7.7, .7, but you don't have the flexibility as some of your teammates do. 0.7 BR higher. At the same time, it's not the biggest problem because at least we're not versing the Leos. 
I'd rather verse Centurion Mark T Well, that's a 7.0. What is a 7.7 .7 that we verse anyways? That'll be interesting. We're going to camp by this rock for a little bit. Ooh, yes. I didn't even see the tank. It's a st definitely a scent model. He missed me. I think it went underneath my lower glacis. That's actually incredible. And we'll just park yeah, it here for a little bit. I don't know why they would want to push in for Alpha. They're, they're probably going to go around this side. If I were, then that's what I would do. Got one guy moving. Not quick enough. The problem is that our, our team... Oh, fuck me. I spotted me last second with his binos. We're gonna hold the repair here. I don't think he's gonna be able to reload in four seconds. Okay, he can reload in four seconds. You missed me? I see you have a lower glacis there. Thank you. Now we're going to have the longest reload rate in the history of Tiger gameplay right here. I don't know how we really didn't die right there. Yeah, that, that was a Centurion shooting at us. We could back out and get him. Not that hard to get. The only problem right now is that our engine smoke might reveal us. I can't tell if he's looking right at me. Oh, what a... It's a Carnarvon, too. Oh, I can get him. I know I can. Maybe the plane might distract him? Yo, this... Let's see if I pop smoke right here. I see that might get his attention away from me. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Long ass reload again. Out in the open, there's an enemy tank. Halfway done reloading. Front's clear. Ah, oh, darn it. Attention to the map. We're gonna try to side scrape here a little bit. He's not looking at me though, I don't think. He's definitely not looking at me. He might have the, the ability just to push out there while he's distracted on other targets. Too lucky this game. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling confident. All our Leos just went to their cliche sniping spots. Maybe we can. Oh my goodness gracious. Mamma mia. Enemy tank right there. He already sees me. A 
Attention to the map. Just tag that guy out. Attention to the and we got one guy right there. And I just won't have the reload rate to deal with these guys. I think the game will end before I can reload. I mean, twice. Oh my god. Kicking my ass. Shoot. We are going to overstay our welcome here. Oh, I thought it was a T-34. Fuck me. Their highest BR tank was a 7.3 Conqueror. I mean, we all have our bad games, but like, how much more handicap do we need to win? And I, and, and I think just the problem was that the Leo's mentality is just to go snipe. So they have 400 millimeter heat. Um, and, you know, if we don't have any bodies in the AO, it doesn't even matter. I really like this thing. I just wish it... At Battle Rating 7.3, I have a lot of fun with it. What we... That last game was really good BRG. For some reason, we were facing things that we would normally face without the uh, 7.7s. This thing's a monster. Guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video. Pray for those Leo drivers. Until next time, have a great day. Peace out.